What is up guys, my name is Tal and you are watching Gadgets and Spheres. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about Oxygen OS 15 running in the OnePlus Pad. Let's get started. So first of all, let's just talk about the dock. Now to enable dock, you actually need to go in settings in accessibility and convenience. Here you get op an option called taskbar. So you need to enable all the four options and once you have enabled it, you can just hold down and there you go. You get your nice little dock. You also get this icon where you can actually open any app you want without a problem so let's say if i want to open chrome now let's say i want to do split screen multitasking so i can just hold an app from the dock and keep it here there you go now we have youtube running in the dock as well as chrome now if you want the multitasking to be normal so you can actually just drag it like this and then tap on chrome and again drag it there you go now this is side by side split screen without any problem amazing so in case you want to use more than two apps like one of you guys have actually asked about it that can you use three apps running side by side and the fourth app in a floating window so we are gonna try that out right now so let me just pick up one more app let's say gallery and open it here so there you go now we are using three apps side by side without any problem we can actually use like this as well this is insane guys wow you can use three apps at once without a problem now let me tell you where this is actually you know useful in real life so let me just close everything and show you let's say you want to edit a video you open power director right you can just use it in this kind of mode which is called you know window mode and then you open the three apps you can actually run four apps at once in this tab which is insanely good like i wouldn't recommend it or even myself i wouldn't do it but still this is awesome i love it now when people actually asked about the new theme so let's just talk about that as well so yes you do get a lot of theming options so let me show you how it works go in settings here you need to search themes so let me just search themes there you go you get three options of themes we have flux themes my themes so let's go in flux themes now these are the themes you get so in the lock screen you can be it can be like this you can actually tap on style and you can just create your style as you want so yeah you can change a lot of things like the clock how it's gonna look so if i just choose this one well that looks kind of great so let's just apply and it's applying so that's how you can you know kind of play around with themes but it's not exactly the same as you get in you know a smartphone of a oneplus it's a little bit different due to the tab factor but still the theming does look great i have no problems no issues whatsoever now let's just talk about one more thing which many people were interested in and that is uh, you know many people are asking they haven't received the beta update so how do you actually get the beta update let me just tell you you need to go in settings and in settings you need to scroll down go in about phone tap on the version and here in the three dot you need to tap and tap on beta program so once you tap on the beta program you will get the latest update here only if you are learn running an older version of oxygen os right now as you guys can see i'm already at the 15 so i'm not gonna get any more updates very soon like but yeah that's how you can actually get it so that is one thing i wanted to answer now one more thing which was very interesting and that is actually the performance scenario like how well does it actually perform so believe me i have tested it thoroughly like i have tried with all the performance mode even video editing is a breeze in this it just works perfectly fine and this is a 4k file edited on this tab without a problem so i love it now in case you might thinking what do i even do i just color grade my videos and that is it i try to shoot all the videos you know live so it it just feels better now let's just talk about the most important thing and that is the geekbench scores because yeah many people are interested in that so what i did was i actually went into the settings let me show you what i did i went into the settings i, uh, I got into the battery mode here i have tested benchmarking in three modes the power saving the balance and the high performance like in case you want to benchmark in all the three modes what kind of a performance are you actually expecting let me just show you so if you go in history and this is what I got in power saving mode, which is 953 single core and 2800 around in multi core. Now, let me actually compare it and show you where it stands. Now, 953 basically stands at the level of Snapdragon 860 or 865 which is basically you get a performance of 860 in single core and 2800 basically means 
yeah uh, better than 860 but yeah this is where you get like 870 or exynos 2100 that's what you get in the power mode in this tab okay so if you want to use that now this is the balance mode 1100 and 3300 now this is a lot better as you already have seen and this is the performance which is closer to 870 in single core exynos 2100 in single core and in multi-core 3300 is actually considered a good score so you get somewhere around 8 gen 1 performance right now once you enable performance mode this is the number you get 1700 in the single and 4380 in the multi-core now this is killer performance like for diamond city 9000 it's amazing now the performance 1700 is somewhere better than the 7 plus gen 2 and a little lower than this 8 gen 2 it is somewhere in between the 8 gen 1 plus and the 8 gen 2 that's amazing and in multi-core 4400 is not far behind the 8 gen 2 it's actually way better than the 7 gen 2 and 8 gen 1 way better than that so somewhere around 8 gen 2 so yeah this is the kind of performance you get but of course if you get the oneplus pad 2 you are gonna get a lot better performance like the s24 ultra level performance so that is one thing you need to keep in mind if you want to play games for a longer period i would personally suggest you to get the pad 2 but for everyday stuff like normally let me tell you what do i actually do in this tab i just like kind of study a bit obviously i have to then i use netflix and chill which is awesome in this tab no problems whatsoever and then video editing is what i do in this tab and it works like a breeze like you can cut videos anywhere you want it's just super duper smooth you can add filters do whatever you want it can process videos in 4k at 60 fps without a problem so that's amazing and then yeah obviously you need to like shop or somewhere you can use mintra and other apps like flipkart that's what you can do and normally it's like a great tab it gives a good battery backup like more than enough for most of the people even for browsing stuff like looking at the latest graphic cards which you can buy this is perfect like you get 144 hertz in this it's very very smooth for actually day-to-day -day stuff but one thing which i would say is there is a kind of of a lot of motion blur so if you're like scrolling really fast you won't be able to actually read anything so you need to actually stop and then read and then again scroll that is one thing but again if i would have bought an ipad or something the animations wouldn't be this smooth and believe me 144 hertz gets the animations perfectly smooth so yeah this is overall a great tab and especially the price at which you can get this is amazing like right now if i just search oneplus pad oneplus pad you guys can see okay wait one plus pad you guys can see you are getting it at around 25,000 indian rupees and for that kind of a price it is insanely good value for money like at 25k 12 gb ram 256 gb storage that is the exact model i'm using and it is actually a really good deal for that price so i think anyone who is getting a deal at that price should definitely get it you will be more than happy at 25k this is by far the best tab you can get storage is also plenty for even games and other stuff but like if you're a video editor you have plenty of storage so yeah i edit all my videos here so it's still enjoyable it's a great experience that's it what do you think about this video tell me in the comments below but that's it hope you like it i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching peace out